At this point, um, I finished with the hedge cutter and uh, I was using the pruner to take out some of the thicker bits. The bit just in front of me there is a different rose to the sort of the big lump above me. Um, it was thorny as hell, and uh, they did catch me quite a bit. But fortunately. Uh, the one still on top of the wall, it was a fawnless rose. Uh, if anyone out there knows their roses, I think it's Zephyrin Druin, um, as you can see, which was, it was nice to cut. You didn't have to worry about dodging any thorns. And you can see how much it had gone over the wall. There's uh, one, two bits I did clean up with the secretaires because the prune on this little tiny stuff tends to rip a little bit. And there was several bits like that that had actually grown into the wall itself. The chap I was actually doing this job for, uh, I was talking to him and because uh, he said he worked from home. So I asked him what he did. And he's a um, SEO specialist on the old internet so um, like any good gardener if you got a question you ask them get a bit of free advice and uh, he actually told me if you, without spending money the if any of you got a website the best thing from his point of view for a gardener or this particular kind of business was reviews um, he said reviews would be the best thing to push you up rankings on different directories um, rather than paying to be on front pages so he said just get as many reviews as possible that will help your profile and uh, make you more visible so a bit of free advice there from the expert so as you can see, there's quite a bit of dead in this one as well. Um, I did sort of snap a lot out by hand, didn't get too fussy. As you can see, it's um, a long way over the wall in places here, the, the rose, and it's whipping about all over the place. Um, if you ever come across this sort of stuff, even though it's thornless, uh, you know, have a visor down or certainly have eye protection. Uh, many years ago, um, actually as a rose, just uh, a twig pinged out and the tip just hit me in the corner of the eye and broke all the blood vessels in the eye. And uh, it blinded me in the eye for, I think it's about two, three days before I got my vision back in the eye. So, um, you know, uh, just be a bit careful. It's, it's the silly little things that'll get you, in my experience. Um, same as the pruning saw. Um, you know, don't take it for granted. Uh, I've, I've drawn plenty of blood over the years with pruning saws. Um, the sharper they are, they tend to be the more, the deeper they go. So, um, you know, just, just be careful sometimes. Sometimes we forget. Um, probably we get a bit complacent but you use things all the time um, but yeah just be a little bit careful as you can see what's coming off here it's it's long old stuff um, it's, it's I mean the, the neighbours just gain some more garden as well really it, it's say what we're putting across here but originally, so the chap asked me to do just one full day to break the back of it for him. And at the end of the day, he was that pleased with what I'd done. And he was also a bit shocked how much come out. And he said oh, he wouldn't have known where to start. He actually asked me if I'd come back and do another full day. Uh, the other side of the garden, there's another smaller border, but some other bits as well. And uh, there is all, well, that's three heaps to chip. 
Um, this ends most of the roses. And this ends mostly mostly shrubbery I've cut out this end. But uh, as I was saying, he, he he asked me to come back, and you will see some of the next next day, uh, the next visit, which I did. I think about three days later. I think I had a, I had a gap, and it filled a gap in nicely. Um, but after that second day, uh, chap paid me, and he was that pleased. He actually gave me a twenty pound tip on top, which is always nice. It was this I enjoyed this job very satisfying and even more so when the customer is really happy plus he's actually asked me if I'd come two hours a fortnight just to keep on top of things for him through the summer just keep things a bit trimmed a bit more sort of um, accurate prunes so we say and keep things how they should be then um, which, is, which is brilliant Plus, this place is actually en route to one of my other jobs, so that's, that's, that's pretty, it's come out brilliant, really. As you can see, um, chipping the roses. Uh, that was fun, <laughs> should we say. Um, so, some of this it was thornless, so it wasn't so bad. Um, but you're seeing a little bit, there was some. Uh, it was leaf like wherever you, you just touched it, it touched you, it hung on to you, and uh, it did bite my hands a few times. And uh, this is the end of day one. I'm just done a little bit murky now, and uh, you can certainly see where I've been. There's one little bit right at the end of this border I didn't quite get done, and there's a little heap to be chipped. But uh, I was quite pleased how far I did get. Uh, there's the tree on its side. To be honest, I think I, I would, if it was mine, I'd cut that completely out. Um, then that twiggy top sticking straight out onto the border. Right, this is a few days later uh, when I went back. Um, these, these are some um, ornamental thistles. Um, so I just chopped them all down, used the old hedge cutter. Used the hedge cutter like a scythe. Sort of did them in two or three strokes and just raked them out. It's uh, a sort of a, a quick fix and uh, it does the job. And uh, just behind me there is one of the heaps of roses that didn't get chipped on the previous visit. I didn't manage to get too much footage on this second visit, um, but you will see uh, quite a bit more. Um, but on the end of this video, there's a little bit of a bonus. Um, I know some of you, you chaps like the chipper. Um, so I think it was Wednesday I did a hawthorn tree and I took about seven feet off it. Yeah. Uh, so you'll see, a, a, might be about a minute or two of chipping of that. Um, I got rather wet on that job as well. So it actually was dry when I started that job and then I got soaked through by the end of the day. So uh, that was fun. Uh, the, these are the thornless roses I'm putting through the chip at the minute, um, which it looks a little bit slow sort of putting it through, but um, it's surprising. You just sort of methodically just keep putting it in, and before you know it, it's all gone. Um, I think I actually said chaps like the chipper. But um, there is some ladies subscribers as well, so I do apologise, and uh, ladies as well. Um, that's the border, more or less finished now. 
just a, a little bit of tidying up on the ground but uh, that'll be done in the future and uh, quite looking forward to looking after this one actually it's uh, it's to be nice to see it progress to something it should be as you can see this is a roof a little bit of a tip if you can do any work and you see damage on something anything if you've got your phone take a photo before you do the job and a photo after so you, you know you cover yourself you can't be accused of doing any damage you're showing it's already there um, I'm thinking the rose that's gone up this roof is Kifsgate and it is up to the eaves and in a lot of places it's actually gone under the tiles so what I did I actually took it all off with the whole pruner um, parrot beak very carefully methodically um, but I had to leave a little bit at the top because that had gone completely under the tiles and I didn't want to risk pulling anything that was still attached but uh, the bit at the top would die off no problem uh, and that actually took me about two hours to clear all that off there and this is some bit I'm, I'm chipping up now it was long old stuff and um, it did bite me a few times this this stuff Some of this what I'm putting through now is some of it's probably about 10 12 feet long. And so as, as you put it through, it, it just catches you. A couple of bits I get shoving through, then as I took my arm away, they came back out again and wrapped around my sleeve. But um, thank you for watching and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I say, there's a bit of bonus video on the end. And uh, Thank you very much. Thank you.